this is not going to be a normal video. We're sending garlic bread to the edge of space! Loads of people have launched loads of objects on balloons, usually as publicity stunts, but despite a lot of breathless press releases, those objects haven't been launched into space. Most standards organisations agree that space officially starts at the completely arbitrary Kármán line, 100 kilometres up, and balloons like that one only get about a third of the way there. And we're definitely not sending anything into orbit. Orbit requires tens of thousands of miles an hour of speed. That's what all the rockets are for. We're using a weather balloon. It's a large one, actually, today. We're going as high as we can with this payload. It's very cold on the way up. It gets warmer as you approach that sort of altitude. So it's coldest just above the jet stream um, and then getting slightly warmer again. It gets back down to about zero, about where the balloon will pop. The idea that all those publicity stunts actually made it to space is helped by the fact that the fisheye lens on some of the cameras that they use means that the curve of the Earth looks a lot more dramatic than it really is at that height. Now, we're using cameras that correct for that, so what you'll see on screen is more or less what you'd see up there. So we're not saying space, we're saying the edge of space, which is basically just a marketing term, but the atmosphere is so thin up there, about 1% of the pressure at ground level, that it's close enough. Why garlic bread? Because it's delicious, and because someone already sent pizza up in a balloon a few years ago. This garlic bread is delicious. It's homemade, well, apart from the baguette. I did some homemade garlic butter on there with some real nice parmesan on there. Although I did make it at five o'clock this morning. <laughs> so it's gonna be a near vacuum. It's gonna be possibly frozen. I mean, we're gonna send half up in the sky with the balloon and then leaving half on Earth for a real comparison taste test. As it goes up, the atmosphere is getting thinner and thinner and there's less and less air pushing in. The balloon itself will get bigger and bigger. So eventually the balloon will pop and the equipment will parachute down to the ground and we'll go and recover it. We normally predict the uh, landing spot to within about five miles when we launch the balloon. We're tracking the balloon using some radio trackers. Um, they send a signal with the GPS position to the ground and that's put on a map and we chase the balloon's predicted landing spot. I've done lots of high altitude ballooning. I've been doing it now for about 10 years. Never lost one, sent one to its doom a couple of times. All sorts of food items have been launched into the stratosphere. The BBC sent wedding cake up as part of a children's show, but the punchline at the end was that no one actually ate it. I've yet to find any balloon-launched food that was actually eaten after landing. And the main reason for that is you have no idea where it's going to land, what it's going to land in, or what animals will have got to it first. The box I've designed has a GPS uh, and a little servo and a piece of string and some springs. As it comes down, it uh, closes the server at a thousand meters above the ground. So now we have to get in our cars and go chasing the payload. It's just coming to land somewhere about half a mile ahead. So Barry, keep your eyes on the sky. I've got to keep my eyes on the road. <laughs> <laughs> you reckon I'm okay to park here? Let's go. just on the end of that row there. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Yay, you think they're still running? <laughs> oh, there we go. Lift it up. Oh, yes. Yeah. All right, so this is, this is your original. Yeah, yeah. That's really good. Not bad, right? <laughs> Space bread. Mm. Is it cold? It's not that much. Oh, no, that tore completely differently. Mm. So that that one ripped. That one went. This one went click. It's definitely got an icy middle. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. wow. <laughs> I don't know. I yeah. mean, that has been frozen. That's been frozen. Yeah, in the you sort of see the colour of the middle of the. 
It's mm. whiter, isn't it? Uh, this went to the stratosphere and I'm eating it. Oh, oh. oh top. Thank you very much to Steve Randall from Random Aerospace and to Barry Lewis from My Virgin Kitchen. I, I don't actually know what I did on this. <laughs> I'm basically DJ Carlos at this point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. DJ garlic. No, that didn't work. I say garlic bread. We're done. We're good. Thank you, folks. <laughs>